what I hold in front of you guys is a custom one of one Guitar Hero guitar that I made. Yo, what's up internet? My name is Alexis. Welcome back to another video. I did something pretty darn cool if I do admit myself. If you know me, you've known that I have been obsessed with Guitar Hero Rock Band. That used to be like, my favorite game of my childhood. Every summer, I would be chilling outside in the garage for hours, hours on end, every single day. I absolutely loved that game. They'd stopped making it, all of the production studios were dropped for it, and a game like that has not been made since. Luckily, the internet is an amazing place. Sometimes some people made something called Clone Hero. Clone Hero is a fully recreated version. It's a music rhythm game. The biggest thing to this is that it is community based. It's made for us, by us, which is super, super cool. And it allows us, the players, to download it wherever we want. I have it on my MacBook and I can play my favorite game on my freaking MacBook. How cool is that? And we have this library that is ever expanding. We can take any new song as well as all the old songs and convert them to play this game. So I can play brand new songs that have barely come out this year in the same format as a game from like 2007. And I think that's so cool and it's so much fun. So my birthday recently passed in March and one of my gifts was getting this pre-owned Guitar Hero guitar. It originally looked like this and with a couple of modifications and some really cool adapters that I was able to find online, I can plug this right into my laptop and I can play. This has been something that I have wanted for such a long time and to finally be able to have it, uh, having the guitar was unreal, getting it to work on my laptop was unreal, and I wanted to just make it more me. I wanted to personalize it. So I documented the entire thing of how I took this regular guitar and turned it into this exclusive one of one just for myself. I thought it'd be really cool if I filmed the whole process and shared it with you guys just in case you ever wanted to do something like this or just in case you were ever inspired and you wanted to repaint one of your guitar controllers. Let's hop right into it. Here we go.
went ahead and modified the back port. Nothing big, not too big of a modification, but I got the old Wii connector with the adapter to turn it into a USB plug, which I got right here. And all I did was take the back casing, kind of burnt a little hole in it, and then used some electrical tape around it just to protect the wire so it doesn't get pinched or anything. And now, all we do is tuck it in, snap it in just like that, and this is what we're looking like. Just a plug straight into my laptop, and we're ready to go. Painted, hand-painted by yours truly. That's me. You can see my hand. <laughs> All right, so let's take it for its first official playthrough. And just like that, beautiful, if I do say so myself, work of art. I went back and I added a little bit of chrome. So it's a little bit sparkly now. And I went back into the outlining of the guitar itself with white paint and chrome. And I just wanted to kind of give these edges like a worn look. But uh, yeah, it's crazy. This is just such a simple thing, but such a cool thing at the same time. I've already done it once, but for the foreseeable future, I will be live streaming on TikTok. If you don't follow me on TikTok, head over there, follow me. I'll be doing a little live stream just playing. Anyways, I hope you guys like this video. Let me know what you think about my guitar in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a thumbs up. And if you want to subscribe, I would really appreciate that. I'll see you guys in the next video. But for now, peace.